Hello YouTube and welcome back to another TFT video where we are once again playing Chonk's Treasure. And hopefully we get loot subscription here. Where's the gold? Okay, pretty good. It looks like we did get loot subscription. Ah, a Galio. Beautiful start. A beautiful start. I love myself a good Galio. Even though I just had a game with him like yesterday, I think, where I got Galio. And I three-starred him. Oh, and a Zoe? Is it looking like a Story Weaver game? It's looking like a Story Weaver game to me. Go ahead and put her in. Let's see what Chonk gives us. Hopefully a spatula. Spatula would be sick. No spatula. But that is quite alright. Gunblade and a Spear of Shoujin. Those might be pretty good Zoe items, so we'll hold on to that for now. See what we get here. Definitely want to try to put in one more Story Weaver, though. I think I might go Blue Kale this game. I haven't gotten Blue Kale in a while, so I think that'd be pretty fun. And no... No Story Weaver unit yet. Come on, drop a spatula. I don't even know if these minions can drop a spatula. I'm pretty sure they can't, but I'm pretty sick if they did. Uh, I'm not sure what else to pick up. Oh, there was a there was an Aatrox there, and I forgot to pick him up. Sad. Oh, branching out, just in case I get a Story Weaver emblem. Come on, dude, something useful, please. Sniper, that sucks. That's truly, truly not at all anything near what I wanted to get. So that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, I can go ahead and just reforge this, and I think I will. Arcanist. Arcanist spatula is a lot better than a Story Weaver spatula. I'm going to put it on Darius for now. And Protector's Vow isn't horrible. But we kind of want to save both of these item components to build an item on our Zoe and uh, Galio here. Uh, Strong Star is important. But I would just love like a... I prefer much more like a rod item on my Zoe. Give her some more DPS, maybe like an Archangels and then a stone gargoyle stone plate on Galio. Thinking about putting three of those on him if I have enough items to do so. So hopefully I, I will get two. Sell this. Do I still have two Rek'Sai's in? I can't even tell, I'm not sure. Nope, I sure don't. Did I sell Rek'Sai? Whoops. I must have sold Rek'Sai. More Arcanus, maybe. I, I would put in these four Arcanists here, and I might put in four Arcanists, since Zoe is our carry at the moment, and I did get an Arcanist emblem. Trying to hit a lot more Story Weaver units. I just can't seem to find any yet. This Hex Egg should help keep my front line alive, though. I know Zoe's not the most popular carry or anything like that, but I think she's pretty good. And she got, she got buffed recently, so... With enough AP, anything is possible. Oh. Okay, alright. The Ricochet. And I definitely beat this guy, so that's awesome. I can now put it in... Oh, Dragon Lords as well, though? I mean, Darius is just so good, right? Darius is too good. Okay, I like this. This is a lot better. If you were to ask me. 
And then maybe I could put in Nico? I could maybe put in Nico here over Darius and then give Diana the... Uh, the arcane... The Arcanist emblem. Ooh, my team is looking pretty strong right now. It's looking pretty good with that Zoe right there. Yeah, she must be doing some damage. She sure is doing some damage. So, we're not getting a spatula if there's one on the carousel. Unless there's like eight. Hmm. <laughs> And there sure isn't eight spatulas on that carousel. There is a Zoe with a blue... I could give her blue buff. Oh, she's gone. How about Zyra? Zyra would be pretty nice. Yeah, Zyra would be super nice to have over... Over Sivir right here. So I could get Sage. Even more AP for my backline would be awesome. Maybe I could put Arcanist on Galio. Like, I know that's not really good because it's not providing him with any more armor, but it would be pretty nice to have. Oh, a Lilia. Okay. I mean, I can't really put her in, can I? Do this. That's three, and then if I were to go level six, then I could put four. Ooh, tough choice. Nasher's tooth. Should I put Nasher's Tooth on her? I know it wouldn't be bad, but... It wouldn't be bad to have. But... Yeah, you know what? I'll let her have it for now. I'll let her have it for now. This Lilia, I'm a little confused about what I want to do with her right now. I'm unsure. Oh, this guy has <laughs> a lot of Dragon's Claws. It's gonna be kind of hard to get through this with... My whole team being AP based, basically. But it looks like they have a lot of AP, so. It's working out quite well. Nice. Okay, now. I, if I get one more Zoe, she'll be quite strong here. Uh, so. One. I still have to go level six if I want to do anything crazy. I don't want to roll down too much just yet. I wouldn't even really be rolling down. I would just be leveling. I mean, am I going to win the next round? Looks like everybody finally hit level 5. I don't... Ooh, it's a tough team. That's very tanky. Very tanky looking team there. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. You can do it, Galio. You can do it, bro. Tank them. Wait. Wait, the ricochet is going off. Come on, cast one more time. Nice. Yes, dude. That's awesome. I really wanted to keep that win streak going. And I don't think I'm going to use Lilia. If I'm being honest. I don't think she fits into this team comp, so. I sold her. I sold her. Nothing else to be done about that. Uh, Soraka would be pretty nice. Pretty nice addition to my team. If only I had a... A bruiser girl. A Riven. Riven would be pretty nice here. Wait. Here's Arcanist. Like, I don't think it would be too bad on Galio, but... Just doesn't really make sense to put it on him. Cancel all this though. And this and this. I do want to like try to reach a very high cap story weaver board, like as many story weavers as I can, but. <gasps> okay. Alright. I mean, I'll take that gladly, and I will slam it right here. And then. And we just do the, the leveling thing. There's another Arcanist though. Um, don't I wanna? Don't I want to have more Arcanist? Uh, 
Oh, maybe maybe five-story weaver is the way to go. I mean, it, this is really powerful, so. And then for Arcanist, I'll do this. Uh, I'll give it to Diana. Have her as a little bit of a trait bot for now. Oh, wow, this guy is incredibly strong. He's incredibly strong with this Kaisa. Got him good, though. Okay, now I have to level up again if I want to put in four Arcanists. But I could very easily hit seven Story Weaver. I just haven't found a Garen. It's kind of unlucky. It's a little unlucky that I haven't seen one. Gargantuan's Resolve. Definitely not that. Oh, okay. Well, I mean... It's like a... Like a very easy pick for me. And we'll put in another Dragon Lord Story Weaver because that just seems like the right thing to do at the moment. And there we go. There we go. Now we're at seven story weaver. Pretty pretty early into the game, I would say. It's a lot of extra ability power. Uh our front line is really, really weak though. Which is a little sad. If we found a ribbon though. Just like one ribbon, please. I will not ribbon? Okay, there she is. Okay, there we go. That definitely makes our front line a little bit stronger. I can still... If I get one more spatula, I can hit 10... 10 story weaver, which... I, I would love to do. I've only done that once so far this whole set. Only reached 10 story weaver one time so far. But it would be pretty, pretty awesome to hit again. Kale is just insane when she reaches uh, 10, 10 story weaver when she ascends the final time. Alright, what else are we gonna get here? Morgana <laughs> offers you a choice upgrade your next two cost champion or gain gold. Now, part of me wants gold. Part of me wants the two-star champ. I think I'll take a two-star champ. Oh, there's Lee Sin. And I'll do this. And then Lee Sin can go in next eventually. Yeah, I think he can go in next. Uh, I can sell... This... I don't know if I plan on 3-starring Zyra, like, I'm kind of close to 3-starring her, but I don't know if I care too much. I have this 2-star Soraka just sitting there, which would be extremely strong if I put her in my board, but I don't think it'd be any stronger than 3-story, or 3-dragon three, three dragon lord, 7-story weaver at this point in the game. Still very, very early. Oh man, feels bad when the wave only hits one unit like that sometimes. Unless it's a unit you really need to get rid of, then it feels pretty good. Okay, I can sell Sever because I just need her for the 10 story weaver if we're going to hit that at some point through this game. Oh, this guy's going fortune. This guy's going fortune, so he might hit a pretty strong board. Another Galio, which is pretty sweet. I don't really see anything else. I want the sword. The thing is, I really want the sword for a Bloodthirster for Lee Sin. Seems unlikely to get, though. I mean, it is a Galio. Galio's, yeah, very fancy unit. Uh, chain Vest would be sweet. I'd take that for sure. Oh, yeah, of course. He saw me going for it, so he had to go get it. I don't blame him for that. I'll take this. I'll take a Gauntlet for a uh, good old... Ooh, nice. That's a Zyra right there, dude. Okay, two small champ dupes, which is pretty nice. And an innervating locket. The holder gains 2% of their total mana whenever they're hit by an attack. Uh, how about I put that right there? And... Dude, I'm, I'm actually only one Zyra away from 3-starring her. So, uh... If I just scroll down here, there's a Zyra. 2-star her. And since she's 3-starred now... She definitely deserves items. I think that was a good, good trade right there. 
Oh, this guy has a dude as well. He does not have seven story weaver like I do right now. Now I definitely need some big tank items on my Galio for sure. Oh, poor Galio. He really got decimated there. Sire's doing work, right? I feel like she is. Oh, wow. This guy is tanky. What a tanky dude. It's those items that he has. Those are insane. Yeah, Kale and Zyra are both carrying. Carrying pretty hard there. Six artifact items, which only last for one round. Okay, that'll be fun. Uh, Mace. Wits End. Oh, this is tough. Uh, yes. And sure. Put a collector on you. And a mittens. And maybe this. And there we go. I think that's uh, about the best that it could be at the moment. I'm just going to take the level up here for... Altruist or Dragon Lord? That's kind of a hard choice. I'll take Dragon Lord because of the attack speed bonus. I feel like the attack speed bonus would be pretty good. I could slam some items here on my Lee Sin, but I'm not going to do that because the next round is Wolves. I might as well just wait to see what items I get. My board is just insanely strong at this point anyway. Yeah, the seven story weaver. It's a little crazy. It's a little crazy to see. I already have a two star Garen, right? So I don't need this Garen. But I can't make 50 gold anyway, so, you know, might as well just wait it out. Now, I really, really hope I get lucky and I'm able to find one more Story Weaver crest. That would be amazing. I would love that. Like I said before, I've only done it one other time. It would be pretty sweet to be able to again. That's just me asking the universe to show me. To show me the other Story Weaver crest. Also, I never say this in the middle of my videos, but I'm very close to 100 subscribers. So if you're enjoying this game, consider leaving a subscribe. I'm so close. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Okay, there's some Lee Sin items right there. And an artifact item anvil. Okay, so this would be awesome for Aurelia. Prowler's Claw. After killing it... Oh, well. I don't have an Aurelia yet, so I might as well just do this. And make Lee Sin pretty strong. I would love a Titan's Resolve on him. It's, it's very good. Hodge wouldn't be bad on him either, but... Man, Titan's Resolve would just be a lot better. I'll just wait to uh, see what my next augment will be. And depending on what it is, I'll just probably slam slam that Hodge on him. Wow. Yeah, my team is... Uh... Ooh, my team is, is pretty strong right now. I'm kind of making a lots of gold from my win streaks. Ooh, I would love to put Soraka in for Altruist at this point. Soraka or Rakan. Uh, unlikely that we see a Rakan. But hey, it's possible. Arcanist Crest. It's not really... Well, I already have an Arcanist Crest, don't I? Yeah, but I'm not going for all of that, man. Well fed? Nope. Unified Resistance is alright, but I'll take the support cash. Ooh, Aegis of the Legion or Knight's Vow. Or a Moonstone. Tough choice. I love a lot of these. I love this Aegis of the Legion. And Knight's Vow. It's between one of these two. I think I'm going to choose this. And go ahead and do something like this. And I, that looks pretty good to me. Now. Am I going to slam this Hajj? I don't think I will. I don't think I will slam that Hodge. Uh, I could sell this. 
Darn, I couldn't really level up here, unfortunately. This guy has a very, very thick board that just got completely one-shot by my Kale. That's awesome. I like, I like to see that. That's a beefy Kogma as well. Nice, I'll take it. I'll take it. That seems pretty good. I think three-star Zyra is just ca yeah, she's just carrying insanely, but so is so is Kale. To be expected, she's technically at three-star right now. And there's level eight, which means I can add Altruist as well. Which is really, really nice. Um, do I want the bonus on Jaina or... Yeah, I think I'll keep the bonus on Jaina. I'm really holding for this Titan's Resolve, by the way. That's why you haven't seen me slam any items. I really want that Titan's Resolve. Most important thing, though, is probably ecoing all all the way to level 10. Since we hit 7 Story Weaver so early, it seems possible, like very likely. Oh, this guy's melting our, our whole back line. Morgana's insane. Morgana's a pretty crazy unit. Oh, 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 that was a really close one. That guy's board is really strong. He almost got us with Morgana. It looks like he's going for a lot of Dragon Lords as well, but all we really need is a two-star Diana and one Rakan. Well, and of course a two-star Lee Sin, if we manage to hit him. It's a little bit less likely, because everybody loves Dragon Lord, which I don't blame them for, but... Hey, there's a Rakan right there. I'd definitely take that over anything else if I can... Yeah, okay, of course, it gets picked first. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. Another Galio. So I would take that as well. No ch Oh, there is a Chain Vest right there. I'm going to take Galio, though, because, I mean, it not only is a Galio, but it also has a Galio item on him. And Chonk is next round, so we might still see a Chain Vest. We'll see. Another Riven is always nice. Three starring here would be pretty sweet. Uh, another. Prowler's Claw. I wish I had a Reforger at this point. Because, uh... It'd be pretty nice to do. I don't... I don't really need another Prowler's Claw, do I? Sell that. I'm not even sure who to put this on. I guess a Riven? It's really one of my only units that can make use of that at the moment. I have this belt right here, but... Also, nowhere to slam this belt... I think I'll just chill. I suppose I could slam the Hodge on Riven as well. It would make her a little bit better. Wow, that Kabuko has 5k HP. That's crazy. And he found a set who's benching for a lot. Uh oh. Come on. Yikes, look at... Dude, this guy is really strong bruiser. He has so much HP, I can't get past him. Oh, he's the first one to beat us. Very strong. Very, very strong board right there. Looks like he's also picking up ribbons and such. That's fine. That's fine. Do that. And this? Does this work? I think it does work. I mean, I don't see why it shouldn't hit Zoe if it hits Lee Sin right there. I need some good Galio items and a two-star Galio. Now, I am holding this Azir because he wouldn't be the worst next edition. I'd be able to... I'd be able to get two Invoker in, and Azir is just a strong unit in general. Okay. Come on, go ahead. Blast them all, Kale. Nice. Look at that Annie, by the way. That is a very scary Annie. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, good thing I hit this three-star Zyra, dude. Good thing I hit this three-star Zyra, because... That would have been a little rough. Looks like a lot of people are really low HP right now. I don't know what... Why? Feels like this game is going by 
super quickly. I just got to round five and everybody else is like very low HP at the moment. These two dudes uh, got elimed pretty much around the same time. Uh, let's... Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I'm three-starring that. And I don't think I'm three-starring her either. I did not get a chain vest. Okay. That's a lot of gold. A Wormogs. I do like a Wormogs. Take Wormogs. I'll level up and roll down just a little bit. Maybe put Hui in, or maybe this is even better than Hui, actually. And then I guess I'll do a Hajj. Jeweled Gauntlet or Red Buff. Better start slamming items. It's not like I can hold them any, any longer. Not really doing me any favors at the moment. Where did I get this two-star Wukong from? Or, uh, two Wukongs. Where did I get two Wukongs from? Now, I have to go level 10 if I want to hit 10 Story Weaver, if I still get a spatula for it. And then I have all these items here. I guess I could give Wukong Red Buff and Guard Breaker. That seems like the best option, probably. Still pushing very hard to level 10. Treasure Armory, okay, nice. Maybe I'll get something really good here. A Radiant item. Ooh, who do I... Who do I choose for this? Radiant Gwinsus. I'll take that for Aurelia. Where is Aurelia, by the way? Okay, I did want to hit that for sure. Uh, there's my Radiant item. Quincy's Red Buff, Guard Breaker, another Rage Blade. There we go. I think that's pretty decent. Probably should just save gold so I can go level 10. Probably should. Whoa. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, well. No Aurelia, though. Who am I going to replace? Probably Zoe. Take out Zoe and add in Aurelia. I'm going to condense everything to the bare minimum that I need here. Kind of dominating pretty, pretty hard this game. Pretty ahead there. There is Aurelia that I wanted. I'll get Lee Sin. Okay, here's Aurelia. Uh, I know you're really good, Wukong, but I want this. There we go. I know she doesn't really benefit at all from AP, but I want her in that corner so she's safe. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to chill out here and wait. Just wait for a moment. Because I want to go level 10. I also have to watch out for people 3 starting 5 costs. I'm not sure if anybody's going to be able to. Because everybody else is really low HP. But you still got to look out for it. And then, instead of Wukong, I need Rakan instead of Wukong, actually. But I'm just going to hold on to him for now. That one star Aurelia did 10k damage. That's nuts. And Aurelia with a Dragon Lord spatula. Obviously, I'm last pick. Somebody's gonna take that right away. That's so good. It's unbelievably good. Yeah, absolutely. Can't blame that guy for, for taking that. That's unbelievably good. This is a good item right here. Oh, he just... Dude, he reached 5 Dragon Lord. That's crazy. Can't believe he got 5 Dragon Lord off that. Okay, another Aurelia is very nice. Let's give her the spear. Let's 
give her the spear for now. now I got another Lee Sin. I could sell this. Hold these right here. And put those off to the side so I can remember I have them. Uh, people are pretty low. I wouldn't be surprised if people rolled down to try to hit a 5 cost. But, like I said, everybody's kind of been rolling down really hard since they're low HP. Oh, this guy's fighting my ghost board. Yikes, look at Morgana, dude. Morgana's just melting my whole board. Yeah, that guy's insanely strong. It's gonna be tough to beat. Well, we beat that guy, though. What I really want is to 3-star a 5 cost, though, or just get a 3-star in general. I'm really in the mood to 3-star something. Too bad we can't 4-star Kale, because we're missing that one emblem. But it's not too late. Might make it to Dragon. If we make it to Dragon, then it is indeed doable. There's fine, and sure, something like this. Oh, we're actually fighting him next. He really did beat us up the first time, though. Might be a little rough. Might be a little rough, a little scary to try to beat this guy. Although, it's not the worst thing if we lose, because we're pretty healthy, but we just don't want him to get comfortable with winning, right? Oh, this guy's holding my Aurelia and Rakan. Same guy with Dragon Lord, right? Yep. Relia and Rakan. It looks like he's trying to three star Relia, Rakan, and the other one. Okay. We are made by our choices. I think pretty soon here I can uh, can level up, obviously. And then I am just going to pick up every 5 cost that I possibly can. Until I 3 star somebody. Or multiple. Now, it would take quite a lot of gold, but that's exactly what we have. Quite a lot of gold. Ooh, there's the level up. Mittens. Five costs only. Art is empty without empathy. Art is empty without empathy. Wukong? My journey's only beginning. Uh no two star Aurelia, which is just a little odd. But what are you gonna do? Sometimes you just don't hit. See if I win this. It's kind of hard to win with like the five Dragon Lord and Morgana back there, man. Oh look, he's holding them all because he knows. He knows. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Uh oh dear, dude, I am so stuck with how many units I have. Way oh dear. It's two deers, so obviously I can't hit that. Azir. This is tough. This is really tough. He has you deer. He has Rakan. He has Azir. He doesn't have Set. I need to like find a way to position my units just a little bit better so I don't get singled out by that dude. Maybe if I, like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe if I spread out my units more. Oh, Chunk. Have a good nine. What does that mean? Oh, why did he do that? Why did he do that? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. What is that? That's like... I'm so disappointed.